game console repairs in this video I'll be showing how to replace iPhone 3G model A1241 touch panel or glass digitizer the reasons you may have to replace your iPhone touch panel or glass digitizer are suppose it's cracked damaged or unresponsive as you can see this is badly damaged so what we're doing we'll be replacing it with a brand new one these are the tools required in order to carry out the whole operation obviously you need a brand new touch panel uh, SIM tray opening tool, suction cup, Phillips 00 screwdriver, small micro turn precision screwdriver, or pry tool. Best option is to purchase one of these iPhone iPod opening toolkits. These toolkits have pretty much everything um, a double Phillips 00 screwdriver, pry tool, suction cup, etc. You'll also be needing adhesives. I'll just explain in a minute uh, where do the adhesives go. Uh, we'll be needing heat gun as well. Um, we need to take the temperatures from 100 to 150 degrees. Uh, so heat gun is required to separate the touch panel from the from the bezel frame. So this is how it, how it all works. I've got another uh, touch panel assembly here. So we'll be doing uh, this is the frame. We'll be separating the touch panel um, from this frame and placing our new one. In order to do that, we'll be applying the heat along this, these two sides over here and over here. Please ensure not to apply heat of uh, more than 150 degrees over here or over here and not more than 7 to 10 seconds as there's a flex cable and there are speakers and you can easily damage them. Uh, once we have separated uh, our, our touch panel, we'll be using our new adhesives. We'll be placing the adhesive here and here and place our new touch panel. Okay, that's it. Uh, other good thing to have is uh, one of these uh, small storage component boxes. iPhone has a lot of small little screws. So best option is to grab one of these as well. So you can put all the screws in these small units and when you try to put it together it makes the job a lot easier okay let's get going let's open up your iPhone step one uh, remove the sim if there's any sim in there and turn your mobile phone off next grab your Phillips double zero screwdriver and remove the two screws located here number one number two Next, grab your suction cup and place it just above the home button. What we'll be doing, uh, we'll be separating the touch panel LCD assembly from the bottom frame. In case it's not coming off easily, so you can use your pry tool or micro turn precision screwdriver and remove it. Next uh, uh, open it up but don't move it all the way over as there are a few cables connected. So the three cables connected number one, two and the third is the LCD cable. So use your pry tool or your micro turn screwdriver and disconnect them. The third is the LCD cable so you have to just unclip it first and slide it out. Our touch panel LCD assembly is separated from the bottom frame, so put this aside. Next, uh, we'll be separating the LCD assembly uh, from the bezel frame. There's, it's connected uh, by six screws. Uh, the screws are located here so number one number two three and then there are two on this side four five and the number six is here uh, simply we'll be removing all these screws
Once all removed, uh, simply grab your Micro 10 precision screwdriver and we'll be separating the LCD uh, from the metal bezel frame. So simply place your screwdriver here and separate the LCD. So lift it up. Okay, our LCD is separated from the touch panel and metal frame. Let's put the LCD aside. Next, uh, we'll be using the heat gun and we'll be separating this cracked damaged touch panel from this frame and we'll place a new one. In order to uh, apply the heats, uh, you can use a range from 100 to 150 degrees. You need to apply the heat for 7 to 10 seconds on, along this side and then 7 to 10 seconds over here and then 7 to 10 seconds over here where the home button is and 7 to 10 seconds over here where the speaker is okay please ensure uh, do not apply for more than 7 to 10 seconds as you can damage the flux cable and speaker okay grab your heat gun Grab your my, uh, pry tool and try to separate the touch panel from the bezel frame. In case it's not coming off easily, so apply the heat again for three to five seconds and keep on repeating the process until uh, until it starts to coming off easily. As you can see, this is coming off easily now. Many a times, seven to ten seconds is more than enough. Okay, once you have all the existing adhesive thoroughly cleaned from here along the sides and from here, grab your new adhesives and let's place it on our frame. Next, uh, let's peel off the stickers. Next, uh, grab your new touch panel and align the touch panel, line this hole uh, with the home button. Okay, the way it goes is like this. So this slides in like this. For doing that, peel off the sticker if there's any in there. Peel this off as well and peel this off. Next, uh, grab your LCD and align this hole with this and place it in so the way it goes is align this next grab your Phillips double zero screwdriver and the six LCD screws so the six LCD screws, the first one goes here, second, third, and there are three here, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Our uh, button frame uh, with LCD and new touch panel is ready. Grab 
our bottom panel and let's place the touch panel LCD assembly back in here. Step one, unclip this and slide the LCD cable in first. And then after that, this cable and the third one. Next, uh, grab the two uh, long Phillips zero Phillips screws and place the two screws here. Okay, once all fitted in properly, uh, let's turn it on and test it out and see everything is functional. Okay, let's test the touch panel. Everything is functional. It's working. Check the volume button, that's functional. Check the mute, that's functional. All good. We have successfully replaced the touch panel on iPhone 3G model A1241. Thank you.